Okay, I thought I'd uh, take you through some uh, settings that I have in um, RDWorks here. And what I have is two uh, bitmaps here. And as you can see, the, the image is, is a grayscale image. And I've stepped it from full white to full black. The image is an 8-bit grayscale image. And I've imported that into um, RD Works here. And I did, um, I, I made two copies of it. And I placed it on two layers here. And the top layer here is um, set to, uh, actually both of them are set to default uh, for speed. Uh, so I can adjust it on the machine itself. And I've set, um, it, for the first uh, test, I set it um, min and max power the same. And in this case, 30% uh, uh, for both. And then the second one, which is the bottom one here, um, I have it set also for 3030 and also for default. However, I have ticked output direct here on it. And then I simple and then I have a simple uh, cutout uh, to go around the thing. And here you can see the simulation, <clears throat> what it's going to do on the top piece, because I do not have direct output, it's taking the 50% and down and cutting it off and the 50% and up making it 100%. And then stepping the rest. Okay, so that's what we have. And um, I'll send this um, to the laser and I'll uh, shoot some video on the laser and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are uh, downstairs at the laser, and this is the first program uh, running at 30-30% uh, percent at uh, 100 uh, millimeters per second. And as expected, this top section is only engraving the darker half of the six bars and leaving the lower half completely untouched. And now on the lower half, uh, you can see it's begun a, uh, a full sweep except for the first bar, uh, which is 0%, which I expected it uh, not to etch at all. perimeter cut okay that's sample number one okay here we are uh, running uh, program number two here this one has a minimum of 10% and a maximum of 70, giving a 60% uh, uh, range in power. And again, this uh, this top section here is only etching the darker half of the bars. In other words, uh, from 127 down to zero, leaving from 127 uh, up to full white to 55 unetched. And now working in the uh, lower section here, it's kind of hard to see uh, here, and we'll take a look at these uh, a little bit closer uh, when we get back upstairs. But there's a slight ramp here uh, forming from left to right, uh, with the right being um, deeper than the left. And of course, uh, the first block is um, full white, so it should not etch at all. Our uh, perimeter cut here. And this thing makes a racket at five millimeters per second. And 
And this will be uh, sample number two. Okay, here we're running uh, the same program as sample two. Only this time, um, I've set the traversal speed down to 50 millimeters per second instead of 100, um, as in uh, sample uh, two. And this should produce uh, a bit deeper cut um, into the surface here, especially at the top where there's only two powers. And I've also included um, the milliamp meter. As you can see, uh, it's really only running um, one power setting for this upper section here. However, I think the, uh, the pattern um, that we see in the lower section will be fairly interesting once we get there. Okay, now we're into the lower section. And as you can see on the meter, it's actually uh, varying the power uh, being uh, sent to the tube. And uh, so, so this actually shows that the, the grayscale, uh, the gray level in the, in the bitmap image, and this is a, a grayscale image, not a, not a dithered image. Uh, so the gray level is actually being sent um, to the tube as a power setting uh, in this mode. So again, this is uh, running 10% minimum and a 70% maximum, uh, same as um, sample two. And our uh, perimeter cut here. And this will be uh, sample number three once we get back upstairs. Done, and I'll see you upstairs. Okay, we're back from the laser here. And um, I have the, the first uh, cut here. Uh, hang on, let me get a white background for us to work with here. <coughs> Hoping the uh, camera will uh, pick this up. If not, I'll, uh, I'll insert some uh, close-up stills. Um, and as I expected, this first uh, cut, because we had 30-30, a 30%, 30% of for uh, min and max both, um, this lower one here is completely flat all the way across except for the 0%. So if there was any etch whatsoever, um, it, it's the same depth all the way across. And I pretty much expected that output. And then here <clears throat> we have the one that doesn't have the direct output uh, checked. And as you can see, the 50% and down uh, did not etch at all. And then the 50% and up did etch at the, 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 uh, the same level of the 30%. Now cut two here. And this one, let me uh, show you RD works here. Uh, this one I set at 10% uh, and 70% uh, for, for both layers. And initially um, I ran it at 100 um, millimeters per second. So <clears throat> ho hopefully the, the camera will pick this up. There is a step from uh, left to right here the right being the deepest is uh, what, what we kind of expected here. So we had the shallow, uh, no, no, no etch whatsoever, the, the shallowest cut all the way down to the deepest cut, while at the same time, um, our upper one here, which does not have direct output ticked, did exactly the same thing. It, it etched at 70%, which is what our max was, and only etched the upper 50%, leaving the lower 50% uh, completely untouched. So we have a slight slope here with, with that output. And then I reran the same code uh, a third time. And this time, um, it's, it's still 10% and 70%. 
except I slowed it down to 50 millimeters uh, per second here. And hopefully you, you can see there's uh, a, a much more drastic uh, depth slope here from our zero to 100% or from 10% all the way down to 70%. And uh, of course, as expected, we, we still have the same depth here at uh, 70%. Um, the, these, the, the, both ends over here are exactly the same depth. This one is, is uniform all the way, all the way across, um, while, while this one is our stepped. So it, it, this, this definitely confirms that the, the direct output, um, is what's needed, uh, to actually send the grayscale data from a grayscale bitmap, not a dither bitmap, but a grayscale bitmap, uh, to the laser, uh, in, in the form of power output.